In this video, we're going to take a look at some correct score trading and some matches where we have dutched certain score lines and then traded them in play. Most notably, you're going to see how we are predicting and picking out which correct scores to cover before the match in the most accurate way possible. And of course, there are real life demonstrations of all of this so you can see it for yourself. Go grab a nice cold beer and let's get into it. So the first step of a Dutch and trade is to make a prediction and pick out the target scores. But how do you go about doing that? This is a fairly typical correct score market. And for most, this can seem extremely overwhelming at first glance. So when entering a correct score trade, you typically want to be backing several of these correct scores. But how do we know which scores to cover, which scores we should be covering, which scores are good for trading, and so on and so on? Well, you could do hours of research to try and work this out. And many might assume that's what most football traders are doing, hours of research just to try and find one trade. Many might assume also that we're using confusing software or complex software and algorithms and all sorts of similar stuff to try and find those target scores. Or... You might just go with gut feeling and you might think, well, yeah, do you know what? I fancy a 2-0 in this one, so I'm going to cover that 2-0. Well, what you're going to find out is, what if I told you there was an easier and more accurate way to predict the correct scores than anything you just saw on the previous slide? And this way doesn't cost any money and it's actually right in front of you the whole time this little method we're going to show you in the video today. And no, it's not crystal ball, but it's not far off because what we're actually going to be using to predict our target scores is market probability. That is right. We're going to use the probability that the markets are already telling us to point us in the right direction. Okay. So as we know, the markets are already uh, extremely accurate in predicting the probability of home wins, away wins, draws, and also in predicting the probability of the amount of goals that will be scored in the match. So if we can combine all of this information, it can point us in the right direction of which target scores to cover, and we can then Dutch and trade them. So when you pick out your target scores and your predictions this way, you don't need to do hardly any research at all because you're just going to use the market probability to guide you. You're definitely not going to need any sort of confusing software or algorithms or, or anything like that. And you're definitely not going to be using gut feeling. Gut feeling is something we strongly advise against using on this channel. Generally, you should always be going with the facts and the numbers when you're trading. Never make decisions based on emotions, especially financial ones. So anyway, I know what you're thinking. How does this actually work? Can you give me more details? And so the best thing to do is to actually show you with a few real life demonstrations so you can understand the concept. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some real life demonstrations. We're going to pick out some target score lines using the method that I just showed you. And then we're going to Dutch them and then we're going to trade them in the in play market. So if that sounds good to you, let's dive into that right now. But before we do, I would really, really appreciate it if you could click the like button to support the channel. We put these videos out for free for your education. All we ask for in return is that you click the like button to support the channel. While you're there, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. That's the best way to make sure you get all our videos in the future. Once that's done, we're all ready to go. Let's check out some real life demonstrations Dutching and trading on the markets and also showing you how we're picking out these target score lines. So here's a match from La Liga, Atletico Madrid against Real Vallecano, 1.65 favorite Atletico Madrid. So that means that they are close to a 65% uh, probability of winning this match. 65% of the time they're going to win this match. So if we're backing correct scores in favor of the Atletico win, then 65% of the time we're going to be right. So at least that leads us in the right direction. If we look at the goal markets, we can see that under two and a half goals is the favorite. So the market's ex and at 1.74. So the market's expecting a, a tight a tight match. So we can use that information to cover some target scores in this one. 
and so we could cover the 2 0. And we want to keep these to the low score. So 2 0, um, 1 0, 1 1 as well, and then possibly the 2 1. So we, at least we've got that 1 1 covered if, if uh, Madrid do slip up or just make a bit of a meal of it. But we did, we've got the most likely score lines that they could win by. So we can Dutch these. And just to be clear to everyone, because we always have to say it on this channel, don't we? We are trading. So we're in control of how this match can develop and, and what happens within it. This isn't just a straight punt on these score lines. So anyway, let me just get these in. And then the match is about to kick off. And let's see what happens when it goes in play. Half time here, Atletico Madrid 1, via Cano 0. Madrid took the lead on 20 minutes. So this is going to plan and going as expected. You can see that we could cash out right now for uh, 38 pounds if, if, if we wanted to, but that'd be a bit of a boring YouTube video. So let's keep it going. And we, we, we're obviously on the 1-0. This, this is a score, which is one of our target scores. We've also got 1-1. We've also got 2-0 and a 2-1. So next goal, we're still on a target score. 45 minutes left to play. Do we consider that there's going to be another goal in this one in the second half? And in this case, the answer is yes. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay off this 1-0. And let me put that in and just actually get that match. And so what you're going to see is that it's going to bring down this target score to pretty much zero. Okay, it's going to leave us with a couple of pounds on it. But it's going to, over, it's going to primarily lower our overall risk on the trade. And then also boost up the profits on the next possible target scores, which are 1-1 uh, one, one and the 2-0. So let's see what happens. It's half time. Madrid won via Cano nil. 91 minutes, actually in injury time. 92 minutes, and we've had a goal. Didn't expect it to go this way. It's gone to Rayo via Cano. So let me. We've got a few minutes left. So let me just um, lay this off. Main reason is because Atletico really, really good at scoring late goals this season. If you if you've caught them a few times, so let's do that. I mean, we've already got. 113 now on the 1-1 one, one. Um, and then we, we could have a bit of a lev level up of the profit if Atletico can nick a winner but it's pretty much done this match and so it was a bit of a surprise really we, Atletico went 1-0 up as you saw at half time we thought there would be a goal in the second half I thought it would go and, and make it 2-0 to Atletico but well, it wasn't to be in this case and it's gone to 1-1 one, one. so if this finishes 1-1 one, one, we're going to make that £113 um, if somehow Viacano nick it, then we're actually only going to make 35. But if uh, Atletico can nick it, we would leverage up our profit up into 228. But like I said, this is pretty much done. But anyway, this is a good example of the match and how you saw how we picked out the target score lines. We forecast a low scoring Atletico win, but then we took cover, covering the 1 1, thinking, well, that's also a possibility, and let's have that as a target score line as well. And so that one's come in. We're pretty much all green. It's come in very, very late. But yeah, a good example of how to pick out your target score lines. And when you're trading the correct score market, yes, we forecast the, the, the Madrid win. Looks like they're going to fail to win, but we're still going to make a profit. So we've still got some more examples to come. But for those who are interested in learning how to trade the correct score market and how to become a master at trade in this market, we have now launched a new course that covers this. It's called Correct Score mastery and this course will teach you everything you need to know about trading correct scores including how to remove risk minimize losses how to create free bets and create leverage in the markets and of course some low risk and high reward strategies and of course inside the program we go a few steps further on what you're learning today in this particular video including how to pick out your target scores the correct target score formula to be using and how to really use market probability to help with our decision making in place so you can just pretty much follow the numbers as you're trading and there's no external or hours of research or even having to watch the live match to, to when you're trading the correct score market so anyway as as mentioned that is correct score mastery now if you want more information on this you need to download the course prospectus ebook it's free to download the link to that is in the description of this video so scroll down and click the link put in your email address and we'll email you the course prospectus and that will have the details of everything that is included inside the program and just a heads up the correct score market 
It's very sensitive. It's also quite advanced. So this isn't a course where we can just take on anyone and just let anyone sign up. You will have to fill out an application form to make sure you're a good fit. But all the information for that is inside the course prospectus. So you can check that out. It's free to download. We'll email it right to you. Click below and you can get a closer look at what is on offer inside the Correct Score Mastery program. Anyway, let's jump into another live example of this and you can check out more regarding picking out these target scores and dutching and trading them. Let's get back into it. So we've got this match from La Liga Sociedad against Mallorca. So you can see Sociedad are 1.59 favourites. So market's got them around a 60 to 65 percent probability. So we already know we should be probably be getting in favour of Sociedad. That kind of goes without saying. Um, but if we look at the goal markets here, and they're, they're not really expecting goals in this one. 1.6 on unders. So usually suggests a pretty tight match despite Sociedad being strong favourites. So we can use that information, head to the correct score market and back some scores in favour of Sociedad but just keep them pretty low. So we can back the 1-0 and the 2-0 win to Sociedad and then possibly if they get in trouble we could have a 2-1 and then a 1-1 because the markets are not telling us that they're going to blow Mallorca away. So it could be a bit of a tight one. So we could cover that. And obviously we're covering 1-1 one, one, just in case they get into a bit of bit of trouble. And also puts us in a good position if Mallorca, the underdog, take the lead. Well, they're still alive. So anyway, let's try that. Let's get the uh, let's get the stakes in the market. And they're about five minutes from kickoff. So let's see how this one develops. Let me just get everything in there and matched. And you can have a look at it. Okay, let's see how this one develops. Sociedad Mallorca La Liga action. It's just gone half time and Sociedad are leading. So this is going to plan as we expected. Sociedad leading 1-0 against Mallorca. They actually scored pretty early on in this one. So four minutes on the clock. And you can see that we could cash out now if we wanted to for £31. That's around a 13% return on our stake. But you would think it's all going to plan. Why would we want to cash out early? We could potentially make a bigger profit from this one. But... Let's see what develops in this one. We would probably expect at least one more goal in this one. And obviously one more goal would still keep us on a profitable scoreline. But anyway, let's see what happens. It's still, oh, it's only half time. So there's still lots of football to be played. 62 minutes on the clock. It's still 1-0 to Sociedad. However, Mallorca just equalised, made it 1-1. Lengthy, lengthy VAR check. It went on for a very long time. Anyway, the goal's been chalked off, but I think we could take that as a bit of a warning sign. Our analysis is pointing to at least another goal in this match, so let's get involved with another goal. Uh, putting a lay order here, and we're going to lay off... Yeah, let's lay off 55. So we'll put that in the market, and then that'll get matched when it gets matched. And then basically what they'll do when that gets matched, it'll bring us down to break even if it does remain 1-0 to Sociedad but it will give us a bit more profit on those next two possible score lines. So, yeah, that's done. That's in there now. So, yeah, we're in a position where, look, 1-0, finishes 1-0, breaking even. It's a scratch trade, but we've got a little bit more profit on the next two possible score lines. So, let's see what happens. It's Sociedad 1, Mallorca 0, 63 minutes on the clock. So, it looks like this is just about to be wrapped up. Real Sociedad 1, Mallorca 0. So, well, in the end, we're going to break even. We're going to make pretty much a scratch trade on this one. And it's kind of gone as we forecast. We did forecast a low scoring Sociedad win. So that has happened. I guess, in a way, the early goal to Sociedad, the disallowed goal, kind of threw us off the scent a little bit. We definitely thought, I definitely thought there would be at least another goal in this one. It hasn't transpired. But the good news is, we haven't lost any money. Okay, it's a scratch trade. Any goal that goes in, even if we do manage to get one now, would have uh, given us a pretty decent profit to sit on. But didn't transpire this time. However, you have to feel that the decision making was the correct one. But anyway, just a quick example for you there. A bit of a damp squib in the end that we didn't make any significant profit. But that's just the nature of the beast. Final score, Sociedad 1, Mallorca 0. Here's a match from the Belgium League and we've got this team Antwerp, strong favourite here at 1.42. That puts them at around a 70% probability of winning this match. So 70% of the time they're going to win. And so we could definitely cover scores in favour of them. And if we have a look at two and a half goals market, 
strong price on over two and a half goals so the market's definitely expecting goals in this one so we're looking at an Antwerp win and we're looking at it to be fairly high scoring with two three or more goals right so anyway what we can do we can take a look at back in some of the higher scores in favor of the Antwerp win so let's go for the three three nil three one and then we can go for two one as well and then we can easily just cover the two nil if they fall a little bit short and stick with those and just just see what happens so let's get that stake into the market and just place, place the bets. And then we're all set. We're all set, ready to go. And just to be clear, we're going to be trading upon these score lines if we land on a target score line and just seeing how the match develops. This is not a straight punt on the correct score market. Anyway, let's see what happens. Antwerp against Ustende, and it's just about to kick off. So just to give you an update on this one, we're in the 52nd minute, and Antwerp took the lead after around two minutes, and they've actually just doubled the lead from the looks of it so they've gone 2-0 up and that means that puts us on a target scoreline with a, a fair bit of the match still to go um, just before we press record actually Ustende did equalize but it was then chalked off with VAR so that would have been a, an interesting development but anyway it looks like that goal to Antwerp they've just gone up the other end of the pitch and scored and you see that quite quite often for some reason you see a goal rolled out by VAR and then the other team goes up and scores anyway here we are 2-0 at the moment we're waiting for the market to reform this is something else to learn about the correct score market it takes a little, a little bit longer to reform after a goal so a little bit of patience is needed but once it does reform well we're on a target score we're on 2-0 next goal we could make it over a 2-1 or a 3-0 so we're in a very strong position at the moment so no rush to do anything just yet Antwerp 2 Stende 0 it's uh, 52 minutes on the clock so we're 61 minutes on the clock and Antwerp still 2-0 up and you have to kind of suspect there's going to be more goals in this one our analysis is leading to that conclusion as well so what we can do is we can use the green we've got on that 2-0 as leverage towards that. So we're going to lay off some of that 2-0 and pretty much boost up the other score lines that are, that are the next score lines that are coming up as well. And also at the same time, lower the risk, the overall risk on the trade because that's always something to, to keep in mind. So we just laid that off at 3.6. Now look, from here, worst case scenario, we've got it wrong. There's no more goals and it's going to have to be a scratch trade. But uh, another goal, we've got some nice green on the next possible score lines and we'll, we'll trade that when we get there. And most importantly, our risk now on the trade, if it goes completely tits up from here, is only minus 40. Okay, we entered with minus 100. Anyway, 2-0 Antwerp. It's 62 minutes on the clock. Let's see what happens next. 79 minutes on the clock. It's just gone Antwerp 3, Ustende 0. So this puts us on uh, our target score and we've got 220 sitting on that. So it's probably time to start to try and exit out of this one. Liquidity's jumping around all over the place. First thing to do is to at least remove the risk from the market while these odds are bouncing around. And this will happen in the correct score market and it can take a few sometimes a few minutes to settle so sometimes you might have to cash it out manually so let's um yeah we might have to do that because i'm not sure if that cash out is going to return so let's go to uh 1.8 and we'll just lay off lay this off lay it off of 100 pounds and it will leave us with around 100 pounds on all the outcomes okay there, there's the cash out so it's 116 cash out uh, available but anyway th let's let's see if this lay order gets taken okay that was taken absolute carnage in this market anyway it leaves us around 100 pounds on all the outcomes however we still got a, a little bonus profit there available if Ustende could pull a goal back and make it 3-1 so I think we'll leave it at that rather than taking 116 so anyway good example for you there you, you saw how we picked out the target scores Antwerp the strong favourites match was forecast to be a high scorer and we've landed on the target score late on we've got a profit locked in and um, there you have it and you also saw what can happen with the correct score market late on this is a low liquidity correct score trade so not 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 the best example but yeah we've, we've still dug out a nice profit from it anyway 
Antwerp 3, Estende nil, 81 minutes on the clock. As usual on this channel, we always try and show you the other side of things so we don't get accused of hyping systems and strategies up. And here are a few criticisms that we can throw towards this approach. Now, when you are using this particular approach, you're still going to need strong strategies. Picking out these scores can only point you in the right direction. You're still going to need to use your trading skills in the markets and most importantly, make the decisions that are profitable in the long term. For example, in that Sociedad example that you just saw, did we maybe make a mistake by pushing for more goals when the market forecast did tell us it was going to be a low scoring match? However, these are all things that can happen in the heat of the moment when you're trading football matches. But the best traders will make the best decisions in the long term and it's going to be reflected in the bottom line profits. So either way, you're going to need strong strategies and you're going to need to be a strong trader in general. Now, also, this approach doesn't really tell us how many scores we should be covering. Is covering four or five good? Should we cover more? Should we cover less? This is where having a good target score formula comes into play. And this is something we might have to cover in another video. As you probably realize, the less scores we cover, the bigger the potential profit, but also by covering less scores, the higher chance we have of actually missing out on landing on one of those target scores. So there has to be a balance. There has to be a balance. And this is not totally covered uh, with the market probability, because if we're going to truly use market probability, well, we might end up having to cover almost all the scores. So like I said, there has to be a balance and that, that's not completely being covered today, but we'll look to try and cover that in a future video. And also doesn't really take into account, and I know a lot of people are probably saying this to themselves during the video, the markets can miss things. Now they are efficient and accurate for the most part, but look, football is a peculiar game. It's involving 22 plus humans if you're involving the subs and the managers and the referees. Now it is possible the market's have missed something, especially in lower level matches, especially in cup matches, especially in friendly matches, and especially in international tournaments such as the World Cup. Now, you might discover something via your market research, which tells you that actually the markets have got the particular match you're looking at wrong. And so you might actually want to go a different way on it. So this is the type of thing that can only really be discovered by research or with good football knowledge. And is a fair criticism of this approach. In my view, a fair solution would be to combine them both, combine the market probability with a little bit of your research at the same time. But anyway, I, ho I hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to grab this. Yeah, OK, grab the course prospectus for Correct Score Mastery. You're going to get all the details about what you're going to learn inside Correct Score Mastery. So if you've enjoyed learning what you've learned today, well, your mind's going to be absolutely blown by what is included inside Correct Score Mastery. The link is in the description. Put in your very best email address and we will email that right to you. You can take a look through the prospectus. You can have a look at all the systems and the strategies and the techniques that you will be learning. And then if it's for you, you can click the application form and fill it out. So as said, if you want more information on that, download the course prospectus ebook free to download. Link is in the description. Don't miss out on that. And if you've checked out any of our other recent correct score videos or you've missed them, there should be a good one on the screen right now for you to click on. Even if you've already seen it, do you know what? Go and watch it again because I think this video will be very, very useful for you. So click on that video and I will see you in the next video.